Rafael Nadal wins French Open 2022 men's singles title. Spaniard Rafael Nadal on the 5th of June 2022 won the 14th singles title of the French Open beating Casper Ruud of Norway 6-2-3, 6-2-3, 6-2-0 in in the final. With this victory, 36-year-old Nadal has become the oldest champion of the French Open. It is his 22nd Grand Slam title. In women or as singles, world number one Igor Swiatek of Poland won the 2022 title by beating Coco Goff in Paris on the 4th of June 2022. World Environment Day, the 5th of June. The World Environment Day is observed every year on the 5th of June. It is celebrated across the world to raise an awareness and describe the importance of Mother Nature. World Environment Day was established in 1972 by the UN General Assembly at the time of Stockholm Conference. The World Environment Day theme for 2022 is or quote, only one earth or quote, and the event is being hosted by Sweden. PM Modi launches, lifestyle for environment life movement. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched a global initiative lifestyle for the environment life movement on the occasion of World Environment Day on 5 June 2022. The launch initiated the Life Global Call for Papers inviting ideas from academics to influence individuals to adopt an environment-conscious lifestyle. The idea of life was introduced by the PM during COP26 in Glasgow in 2021. ISSF World Cup, Ashi, Swapnil win 50 meters rifle 3P mixed gold. Swapnil Kusal and Ashi Choksi won the gold medal in the 50 meters rifle 3 positions 3P mixed team competition at the ISSF World Cup in Baku, Azerbaijan on the 4th of June 2022. The pair of Swapnil and Ashi beat Ukraine or S. Serhi Kulish in Darya Taikova by 16-12. This was India or as second gold in the tournament. With two gold and three silver, India finished second on the medals tally behind Korea. India, Bangladesh conduct joint military exercise, X Sampriti X. A joint military training exercise or X Sampriti X or between India and Bangladesh commenced on 5 June 2022. The exercise is being conducted at Jashore Military Station in Bangladesh from the 5th of June to the 16th of June 2022. The Indian contingent is being represented by a battalion of the Dogra Regiment. The aim of the exercise is to strengthen interoperability between the two armies. Mansukh Mandavia inaugurates Food Laboratory of FSSAI in Bihar. Union Minister Mansukh Mandaviya on 5 June 2022 inaugurated the National Food Laboratory of FSSAI at Rixol in Bihar. This laboratory has been established under the Indo-Nepal Bilateral Agreement to reduce the time in the testing of imported food samples brought into Rixol from Nepal. Earlier, all the imported samples were being sent to National Food Laboratory at Kolkata, for testing. Goft, a point say, Mani Mekhalai as MD and CEO of Union Bank of India. The government on 2 June 2022 appointed Canara Bank Executive Director A. Mani Mekhalai as the new Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer MD or CEO of Union Bank of India. She has been appointed for a period of three years. She will replace G. Rajkiran Rai. She started her career in 1988 with Vijaya Bank and in 2019 she was appointed as an executive director at Canara Bank. Punjab bans single-use plastic from July 2022. The Punjab government on 5 June 2022 announced that it has decided to ban all single-use plastic from July 2022. The announcement was made during a virtual event on the occasion of World Environment Day, 5 June. A decision to set up 55 sewage treatment plants across the state and to establish the Shaheed Bhagat Singh Punjab State Environment Award was also announced during the event. Orissa CM Naveen Patnayak reconstitutes Council of Ministers.
Orissa Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik on the 5th of June 2022 inducted 21 ministers including seven first timers and three women in the biggest ever cabinet reshuffle in his 22 year long reign. All 20 ministers of the Orissa government had resigned on the 4th of June 2022 to pave way for a reshuffle of the council. This is for the first time in the political history of Orissa that all ministers were directed to quit. SBI Foundation Partners Khan Academy for Digital Learning Program SBI Foundation has launched UPA School a digital learning program for students from class 1 to 10 in partnership with Khan Academy an educational non-profit The program will be available in English Hindi and Kannada languages It aims to reduce learning gaps and build a solid foundation in maths Every student will receive a digital certificate